Okay, we are now unboxing uh, pasta. I would not unbox pasta with a knife. You unbox her with chopsticks. Trust me, it's kinky. Um, I haven't put this one off, and I don't know why. I think I know why. I think I know that we're too expensive, and I think I know I have the, the Gen 1. And everyone's like, but Zios, now they're like $129. And I'm like, what are $129? The Fidelio HRX2 over your indoor headphone. What? The fuck does that mean? They say indoor headphone. Well, I literally was going to take them out just now, and now I can't because the fucking box says it's an indoor headphone. That's weird. All right, I've never, never in my lifetime have I experienced an indoor headphone before. Now, for those of you who do not know what's on my wall, I have the X1s. X1s existed for like this long a period of time. And the X2s existed for like this long a period of time. And then they disappeared for like a little bit. And then it's like X2 uh, high res, which maybe did nothing. Good unboxing, decent. Wish this package was in the back, like where I couldn't see it. Oh, oh, I guess that's where the other one is. Look almost identical. The difference between the X1, by the way, and the X2 was the X1 has a shorter headband and it didn't fit people with big heads and the X2 made it bigger like this, which makes it stick up. You could have space. The X1's fit so much better. Uh, still an amazing build quality. Like nothing, I don't think it's changed in that aspect. This is kind of weird though, because you've got like a nylon mesh here, very, very soft, but you got this big padded bit, but I, it's above, you're not high. You're not actually touching that with any of your head. Like that, it isn't like holding here and using this whole thing. You're only using this bit. So that's just for show. Memory foam pads, they were not memory foam in the past. Now it's memory foam. Let's see what we got. Right up to the driver, almost nothing underneath it. So kind of a rough velvet. These are not like high-end feeling pads, but the memory foam has intrigued me. I'm gonna wear them out now. I'm gonna wear them out. And they big, and they have 50 millimeter high power neodymium. This is, this is an impossible structure to grab. Oh, the book is strapped to the back. I don't need a book, it's a headphone. What kind of wire does it come with, Zeus? Oh, we've got that. We've got a quarter inch adapter, which I will now use this quarter inch adapter instead of this quarter inch adapter. So I go out, I'm taking this monster. Didn't fall on the ground. This might be too long holy fuck like holy fuck it's 12 feet let's see arms length that's a little less than two arms length so it's like an 11 foot fucking cable with this wrappy bit to wrap it up to do like that which is like why it says phillips um i probably won't even review it with this this is ridiculously long this is, this is like, who, who, what? Am I supposed to jump out of the airplane with these on? Hey, Pasta, do you want a free headphone cable? Here you go, baby. Yeah. So there's that. But I, I'm interested to hear these. I, I don't pull my X1s. My X1s have different pads on them because I was bored and I wanted to play with them. So the fact that these X2s now are like stock and unbroken in, it's going to be interesting hearing them. Where are they? the X1s. X1s also have this ring. It has nothing written on it and it's silver and I think it stands out more. It's a little bit prettier. Also this top isn't black, it's brown. So I'm going to wear these out but I'm going to use the cable I bought for my uh, T50s. Pasta can also link this cable which I'll have a hard ass time finding on Amazon but it's the SKW. Oh that's the silver plug. 
Don't take that with me. Anyway, enough of this unboxing. I'm going to uh, rock these bitches outdoors, regardless of it saying that this is an indoor headphone. We'll see how this goes. Oh wow, that tape is fucking weird. Anyway, um... Oh man. I thought I was gonna get some of this Japanese duct tape. That's really weird. Can anyone help me find the name of this tape? It's like flesh tone, but that's insensitive. So it's like cardboard box tone. Well, I can get a good piece of it here. Look at that. I need duct tape that's that color. It does a damn good job sticking to the box too. Can I get it off? Can I get off a big piece of it? I've been looking for what's in this box for a long time. And I had a guest, and he has a friend who can get anything or find you anything. Ah, shit, I fucked it up. Now I gotta ask him for band aid colored duct tape. This would be great if you're like hurt. You could just be like, oh man, Jim, I'm hurt. Oh, I got it. Look, no one could even tell it's there. And ah, oh, it's actually, it actually didn't hurt. Anyway, we're gonna rip this open. It's a figure, in case you haven't figured it out. <laughs> uh, it's a figure. It was not a cheap one. This is over 100 But it was totally worth it. Because everybody knows who Best Girl is. And it's definitely her. And she's a classy lady. And uh, I bought her immediately. Nice bubble wrap. Nice box. Someone's getting a yard sale item in that. The Nerve logo spoiling it. Pass is walking past. Ah! Oh. Yes. Misato Katsuragi. If y'all don't know who Misato Katsuragi is, she's best girl. Pasta, she's best girl. You just make sure you label it best girl in the description and not figure or lame anime doll or no even I don't know where I bought it from it's not from anywhere it took me forever to find this oh god it's swimsuit Katsuragi swimsuit Masato from Evangelion oh god where do I put her we need to admire this together There's always tape. There's always more tape. This one actually has a resale value. Like, I usually don't have figures with resale values. I buy noodle stoppers. Oh, God, a shoe just fell down. Okay. Here we go. That's all I care about. I'm sure there's some of you fetishists that are just going to be like, Oh, my God, a shoe. And I'm just like, right, I'm going to put that on Union. Union's got a shoe now. Let's see. Are my hands clean enough? The pasta's always like, don't touch vinyl with your bare hands. And I'm just like, don't touch my figures with your bare hands. Animals. Got another shoe. No, that's a gun. Oh my God, we got a gun. And a shoe. All my fetishes are coming true. Oh my God, get a multi union. So, that shoe was attached. The other shoe is not supposed to be there. That's, that's the greatest thing. Wait. Fuck, did they put plastic under her head? No, just under there. I don't know how they got that to stay. Anyway, K Katsuragi, which is Evangelion Girls, which is just like, boom. It's boom, it's boom. I could give her a gun. And this will be a short unboxing. Just, just take it. You gotta shoot some, some fucking people in the head later. Boom! It's really well painted too. Uh, yeah, it's a little dark around there, but uh, I'm not gonna argue. I don't know what she's supposed to. She's supposed to be holding her shoe in the back. 
I don't know, these might be from End of Ava. Anyway, Katsuragi's got to figure out a nice place to go. None of this fucking on the microwave bullshit. So that's that. Next, 